Alrighty folks, thanks for stopping by the Captain Dave Sport Fishing YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for future notifications. Alrighty, what are we doing here today? Well, last night running my engine, my 250 Suzuki, in the barrel. That's how I wash it out. Do not use those engine flushers. I cannot stress that enough. I had a 3-6 alarm go off. And what that means is that's the O2 sensor. And there's the O2 sensor out of my 250 Suzuki. I am sitting here right now soaking it in oven cleaner to decarbonize it. All right. So, that's usually the problem. Although, this, this was recalled, and this is now in, what, five and a half years, maybe going on six, I'm not exactly sure. This is the third O2 sensor out of my 250 Suzuki. They claim that this one was bad last time, and not March 4th of last year, I got a new one put in. So, I've got charters, one after another, coming up. I have no time, okay? I have no time to screw around. So, Dr. Gary Orowak on this channel, which is a regular viewer, and he is part of Team Jetty Wolf. He said, soak it in some oven cleaner for, get to decar uh, decarbonize that, all right? But while I was here, I also wanted to show you something that never, ever, ever gets seen on any kind of Suzuki maintenance issue. And what I did is I sent away, with, and they sent me this, I sent away to Blackstone Laboratories. That is a gas and diesel engine oil analysis company. And here is their paperwork. For $28, they will give you the standard standard oil uh, analysis. And that's in this very, very small print on the back here of just some of the things to look for. Phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, silicon, boron, potassium, titanium, silver, magnesium, nickel, uh, molybdenum or something, lead, tin, copper, iron, Chrome, chromium, aluminum, uh, viscosity changing, uh, if there's antifreeze, water, all this type of stuff that will get into your oil. Well, here's my oil. I'm on 80 hours, and it's pretty black. Pretty black. And this is... I'm going to change the oil. I want to do a cold sample. Um, you can either pump it out through the dipstick. That's exactly what I just did because they're going to take into account that if there's any moisture in your or fuel in your oil. Well, since I do not run hard enough and I get carboned up on this O2 sensor yearly, I took this pump and I pumped some out through the dipstick and I got pretty much probably close to the bottom of my oil pan. And what I'm doing now is I put it in here. There's the oil. You just give them your credit card number and it's $28. And you put in, if it's gas, diesel, whatever, operating in seawater, fresh water, or both. You can check if you want to send if they if you want them to send you more containers like this and like this to ship it. It comes with a you know a label on it already. No postage necessary if mailed in the United States. An ID number, the hours on the oil. I've got about 80, 85 hours, I'd say, on this oil right now. You take this after you've filled this out. I've been watching um, 
Project Farm on YouTube. And he does a lot of oil analysis. And I said to myself, let me see if anybody does that on their outboard. No, not a single video could I find. And then you'll put this card in there. And you will tighten this up. I'll wrap a little tape around it. And when they get it, they've got this bottle full of your oil. And we'll send you an oil analysis and another bottle if you'd like so. Like them to do it. So I'm going to change my oil out probably today because I'm going to stick this back in. I'm letting this decarbonize because I've got charters coming up and I cannot find another one of these at my one Suzuki dealer I know that I can go in there and chit chat with. And I was with them all. I went in there this morning and was chatting with uh, the service manager. And was also talking to him about replacing my 250 with twin 115 Suzuki's. Replace them. Replace the ones that I have now, the engines, with twin 115's. And uh, I'll take my kicker and I'll find me a beater John boat and I'll put it on the back. So I'll be a John boater. And then I'll start another YouTube channel called Low Tech Fishing at its finest. Because I won't have nothing on it and I'll go fishing in a John boat with my kicker on the back with nothing. No live well, no, no pulling platforms, no trolling motors, no nothing. And show you how easy it is to just go out and catch some fish. That's all I'll be doing. But that's here nor there. So you'll put this like this and I'm going to ship it off. And I'll be getting back with you on what the oil analysis came back as. Because when I get, you know, you get carbon, if I get a lot of carbon, that means there's possible blow by of some fuel because I just don't run that hard. You know, I don't run up and down the St. John's River with Bob and Alice and little Jimmy doing, you know, uh, 5,800 RPM. But I'm going to have to. And I have to force myself to do that. Because I just don't do that on a normal basis. So I get carboned up a lot, I suppose. In the meantime, I just thought I'd pass this on. If you're like me, you'll never find this part unless you leave your boat and then they have to order one. But I'm going to try to see. They're kind of looking into it for me. If they, Since this thing isn't even a completely a year old. If I can have one brand new put in my engine and um, have it done under, you know, the warranty of these O2 sensors. So I'm going to put this back in and I'm going to blow it off here. I'm going to put this back in. I'm going to start the engine. I'm going to warm it up and I'm going to change the oil. This is the whole idea here. Not changing oil is sending this to Blackstone Laboratories. And let's get an oil analysis of my oil for my 250 Suzuki. And I should be the only one on all of YouTube that has an oil analysis on their outboard. So thanks for stopping by. You'll have something to look forward to the next video when I get the uh, analysis back. It'll probably say carbon, fuel, moisture. Who the hell knows? Who knows what it'll say? So, this is Captain Dave Sport Fishing YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next one.